Hey guys, uh, 99% of y'all, my brothers and sisters in Christ ain't gonna like this, y'all are gonna disagree, but it is what it is. I love y'all anyway. But I'm watching this, and I kind of felt like the Lord's gonna drop some knowledge on me. And yet again, I found this uh, channel randomly, and it seems like every time I find a channel, I got something the Lord wants me to speak on. Uh, so before he said what he said, the same thing like with all these people that say, oh, why don't you name names? When I'm telling my, my testimony, I name names. Now I'm not a celebrity. I don't have like much anything to lose um, and stuff. But, and by the way, if this video gets taken out, I'll just put it on my Patreon. It's, uh, Patreon links in the descriptions. Patreon, uh, at Carnage, looks like all my other stuff. Anyways, um, if you want to talk further about it, join my Discord server and the um, Bible study. Um, or you can put in a prayer request in the text as well. Um, but anyway, um, I wanted to touch on this real quick because I'm also bipolar and, uh, well, I'm also really starting to question if Kanye was ever bipolar to begin with because I think um, that when he started to get out of line, so to speak, once he made it to a certain level after his mom died, um, which we all know what that is, but I'm not judging. Uh, only God knows those types of only God can judge Kanye we can't alright or yay I'm sorry I mean disrespectful um and that goes for any other rest of us but like with Cat Williams and everybody else one one thing y'all need to understand is that just the same way that everybody um isn't Christian everybody isn't a Luciferian everybody isn't um a football fan everybody isn't a basketball fan um everybody that is in some form of status that's high up um, that's known, prominent, or renowned, whatever, um, has a great skill that they get paid for or they're just recognized for and they have a platform, it doesn't mean that every last one of them is with Lucifer because if that was the case, we'd be in a whole lot more trouble than we already are. Um, so, um, use your discernment, test the spirits, pray on it, all that stuff, but, um, Sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Give me one second. Uh, there's a song that Kanye has called Never Let Me Down, which is his best song. Um, now, Jay-Z is in it, which is problematic, but if you just want to read the lyrics of Kanye's lyrics and the guy at the end, if you want to skip to it. Kanye's lyrics and um, the guy at the end especially is given all the glory to God, basically. Um, I'm not trying to get into all that secular music stuff. I'm just simply telling you the way that he was when he first started out before he got actually into the money part. Um, this is before his mom died. Uh, he was a whole different person. And then when he got with a little bit before the Kardashians and all that stuff, um, he really started to go like into a different direction. You can you can think of that what you will, but anybody that's a um, that's followed Kanye like I have, because I grew up listening to him and stuff, um, and I've always prayed for him. I wish the best for him. You know, when he says, "Well, okay, I totally forgot about the recent events. Uh, I'm not going to go there. That's not even the point. Sometimes you get so caught up on oh, this is controlled opposition that you miss the message, and even if the even if it, you don't agree totally with how the person is or what they've done or whatever, just because someone is surrounded by darkness like these people are doesn't mean that there's not a mustard seed of light in there because there can be. And I think that's been the situation with Kanye since his mom died. And also my mom died and I struggle with the same things he does. And um, if he is really bipolar, um, then what he's dealing with is a whole different level for what I'm dealing with. Because it's kind of like people following me around 24 seven talking about uh, hey, Karn, how you doing with your, since your mom's dead? How does it feel that your mom's dead? You know, how's your mom's death affecting you? How are you doing today? You know, have you got over it yet? You know what I mean? So imagine every bad thing that someone said to you on the internet that offended you. Imagine your whole life, every person that's ever done that to you is in your face all the time. So, so give, 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 give the brother a little bit of uh, empathy, man. You know, give, give, 
give the people that have made a mistake and have gotten led into temptation and they're dealing with evil, give them, give them some prayer, man. Quit, quit being like, oh, you're this, you're that. And you know what? If they sided with Lucifer and, and they turn their back on God, we weren't there. We don't know that. Now, if they straight up say something, like I, Rihanna said it, Lady Gaga said it, Bob Dylan said it, Robert Jones, the blues player, um, mentioned it, but that you're talking like a whole long time ago, so I can't attest to that, but that it, it is, he told it to other people, like Muddy Rivers, I think, maybe, I think. I might, I might be having the wrong blues, blues dudes mixed up. I watched the movie, I can't remember. But the same way, see, the same thing with Ye is the same thing with you and me. We made mistakes, we stumbled, we sinned. The difference is, is you're thinking that their sin is greater than our sin because they're higher up and they've done worse or things, things that we wouldn't do that we, we, we don't, that, that do offend God or are wicked or whatever. For, I'm talking about for the ones that are the case like that. Like I love Batman. The Dark Knight's my favorite movie. Um, why do I love Batman? Because I was a little kid. And I've always been, I've always believed in doing the right thing and helping people. I've always hated evil. I've always stood up for people, no matter what the cost. Um, I never abandoned people. And so, yeah, me and Batman, just got, we just were one and the same. And I don't, also don't believe in killing anybody, you know? Um, and then coincidentally, the Joker mimics the like the like the way that all these demons and stuff have driven me insane. So I so what I'm saying is is I've 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 done the I've done the Joker stuff and I've done the Batman stuff. You know I've done really good and I've done really bad. Like like I mean really bad like sinning against God. Not like I ain't killed nobody or hurt no kids or nothing like that. Um, but you, you get what I mean. So it's the duality. So I can relate to both sides. Because I've been on both sides. But I've been on the extremes of both sides. However, Heath Ledger was promoting the Brokeback Mountain type stuff and then the same stuff for the lady version. Um, that's not a god. So, you know, I loved Heath Ledger a lot. I like him a lot. Um, to me, he's the best Joker, but it's just a movie. You know, I repented of all that idolatry stuff long ago. And it's not like you got to have Helga and Arnold have like a shrine, a secret shrine in your room and you like bow down and worship. Idolatry can be like, oh, well, I should be reading my Bible today because it's Sunday, but I want to watch The Dark Knight and The Joker. This is so great. And it's like the Lord's out of sight, out of mind. Um, so, so, so that's just a thing like that. Um, recently in the last year and a half, I've, I've gotten the Lord's, um, delivered me from that and everything. And so I'm not having any issues with sin except for using, well, I'm not having any issues with sin, but I am having issues with losing the Lord's name in vain. I kind of feel like the only time you should say, you know, oh Jesus or oh God is if you're saying it like. Well, well, I guess you could say, like one time Joker was above in the cabinet and I was going in the ice box. It's a place where you put your milk. I can't say the, uh, the R word because it hurts my nerve too bad. But he was in there and he popped up out of there out of nowhere. And when I focus on something, I'm hyper-focused. And so I was like, oh, you know, the J word. I feel like that's kind of unavoidable. Plus I have hypervigilance and PTSD and all this stuff. So I'm not saying it's excuse, but it is what it is. If I if I could control control those things to where I didn't do it, then I would, but I can't. But I do ask for forgiveness nonetheless. Um, and then, of course, like, you know, like when I'm playing, like, especially like a competitive game or whatever, like basketball or Mortal Kombat or, or whatever, I'll get dramatic and I'll be like, oh, G-O-D, oh, G-O-D, and I'll, like, act like I'm, like, in the Shawshank Redemption when he's getting out of the, the jail or whatever. But so I'm working on that, too. Um, 
but as far as sin, I'm not going anywhere. I'm I'm looking for a wife, and if it happens, it happens. If not, not. But um, I'm not lusting after women. I mean, of course, I'm not blind. I have eyes. If you see a woman, it's natural, like, oh, she's attractive. But the, like, visually, I see a woman. But I'm not seeing a woman in my mind unless it's like oh, my wife, type thing. So it's like, yeah, when you're like, you really realize you can do right and by God it's exciting and part of that yeah is like getting married and all that stuff and then you know after you're married the, the, well you, you get what I mean when the wedding's over so that's natural but as far as like to me lust is simply when you have a, when you have a when you when you have a visual and then you have a thought and then your thought has an action or if you're just looking too long but I'm not doing that at all and I looked up the seven deadly sins. I, I, all the other ones I've never had an issue with except for like wrath, pride, and, and lust. And I've forgiven myself and my mom and dad and everybody else, but especially me and my mom and my dad, of all the wrath and the, um, the pride and everything. And praise God for that. And that's, that's the honest to God's truth. And God, I, I, I took this, to, the stuff I'm telling y'all I've been delivered from, I took it to God first and God knows that. So I'm not sitting here telling you nothing that God isn't my witness of. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be talking to y'all right now. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even, because I'm not going to insult God. There's, it's absolutely pointless and fruitless to say if I'm lie to the world. Because when you're in the internet, you're in the world, talking to the world. People forget that. And it doesn't matter if 100 people see this or 100,000. If, if however, many, however, many, however many views I have on any video I make to, for the Lord, that's how many people I'm hoping to save. Because you know what? There's gonna whatever the other amount of people that didn't see it may not get saved. So th what we can do is what we can do. Um, and then again, I had I was with the, my ex for a year and a half, and we had broke up, and then her daughter revealed a bunch of stuff about basically she was just a manipulative, bad person, just not a good person for me, not equally yoked. She wasn't gonna be my wife. Not to get into details. Um, it's just that simple. But at the same time, I was trying to get her to go to church with me. I was trying to get back in church because I was having health issues. She was having health issues. Her family was sick, blah, blah, blah. So it was a lot. And she just wouldn't go. But the whole time I was telling her my life story and this and that and ministering to her all the time. And she just lost her faith and she's Christian too. So that's why the Lord brought us together is so that I could hopefully break through to her to get her saved. And also I forget she's bisexual too. But anyway, and by the way, I never, I never promoted, um, like, well, I never promoted, like, hey, let's bring another woman home or nothing like that. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't um, condone it. I didn't uh, you know what I mean, encourage it. Um, but, but anyway, uh, Dang, that's deep. Thank you, Lord. So the reason why, like, um, threesomes and stuff is something that the devil is so cunning about making it seem like it's the ultimate greatest milestone for man is simply because you can't get two women pregnant at the same time. You can only have togetherness with one woman at a time, and that's the way that God made it. So in other words, if you look at God's word, and something that literal the reason why it's sinful and if it doesn't fall to the sin category it's just offensive to God or just not the way God intended it it's simply because it's not God's design so like like a cat meows and a dog barks it's impossible for it to be the other way around. It's God's design. The sun is hot and the moon is cool. God's design. You know, fire is hot, ice is cold. It's God's design, it's duality, it's one or the other. There's not no in between with, with God. Either you're saved or you're not saved, either you love God or you don't love God, either you're with the Lord or you're against the Lord. Or you could be like in the middle, like on the fence, like almost, like almost there, you know, definitely not trying to 
end up in hell, but you're definitely trying to, to have a breakthrough with the Lord. And the Lord knows that, so that's why he's, he's slow to anger and he's um, patient. And God's desire to forgive us is greater than our desire to be uh, forgiven by God. And that's why when you're wondering like, oh, why does God keep forgiving me, giving me all these chances? Is because the love, the way that God wants to, the incomprehensible way that God loves us and wants us to, um, to forgive us, meaning that he wants us to come to his son and accept Christ is greater than what we can think in our little minds because we're his children. We have little minds. We have children's minds. I might be 35, but I'm, I'm really three years old to God or something like that. That's why we're his children. And guess what? Children don't know how to act. And what do you got to do with the child? You always got to scold them. You always got to tell them this. You got to remind them of that. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Don't be drinking. Don't be smoking. Stop hanging around crowds. Stop running with all these women. Your thing's going to fall off. Or you're going to have all these kids and wish your thing fall off. Or, you know, you're going to mess around and catch something you can't take back. And in the last days, what we got is what we got. What you thought you were going to do, you may not do. But our rewards aren't here in heaven. I mean, I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lord. I mean to say that. Our rewards are not here on earth. Our rewards are in heaven. Remember that. So kind of what I'm doing is I'm doing testimonies. I'm kind of taking a break to not over-exhaust myself because of having to do all these bring up all these emotions from my past and all this stuff uh, more than happy to do it for the Lord but I do know that I do need to pace myself so I because with how sick I am and stuff I don't want to overdo it and because I have been overdoing it and I've done one video and I've been sleep sleep for like a day and a half that's how draining it is plus all my medicine and illness and everything else so I got to pace myself so I'm gonna try to just at this point forward I'm gonna try to just cut off my emotions and not get upset so if I sound callous, I'm not being callous. It's just if I get too upset. March is the worst month for me because my birthday is March 6th. My mom is the 16th and my grandma is the 26th. So it's like the whole reminder of everything. I lost my grandma when I was like two or three. Only have mem one memory of her. I have one picture with her. That's it with me and her. And then, um, and then my mom, obviously. But anyway... what I wanted to say is that the, the people that do speak out they already have everything in the world they have nothing to gain from speaking out but they have everything to lose this, and that's, that's uh, their family and their life so I want y'all to listen to what this said that, I literally just stopped it when I heard it and I was thinking it and then this happens let me say 115 let me try to go back. Hold on. It's all indoctrination. This is all my control. You gotta understand, like, I'm putting... I, I don't believe I'm putting myself at risk because I think God uses me for a time like this. He put me in a situation that had y'all follow me from George Bush, don't care, to me, I had the best video, to now. For some reason... Y'all are interested. Two Chain said, "Why is it so low buck?" Well, y'all think Joe is looking like y'all are y'all are interested for some reason, and they wanted to medicate me every day. You realize, like they could have just switched to medication, and I wouldn't be here. And on the news, they would have said it was because of a mental issue, right? I ain't never been back to the hospital since 2015. But every time they say I'm crazy, it's just when I'm saying the truth. Yeah, let's have a conversation. But you ain't gonna send Harley Pasternak, Harley Pasternak, Harley Pasternak, Puff Daddy, Meek Mills, Kim Kardashian, none of the usual suspects, and get me to stop talking. You're going to have to take my life. He posted a screenshot. Literally, as I was watching that, I was like thinking in my mind they're gonna have to kill him. That's what I say. Y'all wanna do something to my cat? You're gonna have to kill me. 
Oh, take the beat, mark of the beast is six six six. No, I'm going in. It, I already know I'm dying. If well, I, I guess that would okay. Never mind. I'm thinking of the we would be raptured first, but I mean hypothetically, I would die. I would die for the Lord right now. Somebody bust through this door talking about put your hands up, um, reject the Lord. It's so offensive to my spirit that I don't even like saying reject the Lord, but I need to say it so y'all can hear it. But if they were like. We don't like your videos. You're preaching too much. You're reaching too many people. You know, we're going to detain you. Da, da, da. Um, reject the Lord. Reject God. Reject your faith. Are you a true Christian? I am a true Christian. I love the Lord. They're like, well, you know, reject them or we're going to kill you. You're going to have to kill me. You're going to kill my cats too. And if you kill me, when you kill me, and if I ain't, I'm not here for my cats, obviously, the Lord's going to take care of them one way or another. Because my babies are God's babies too. The animals, don't forget y'all, it's not about just us. The animals, the plants, the nature, the water, everything, all the nature, all of the animals, all the humans, we're all God's creation and we're made for God's pleasure. And uh, to please, we're, we're made for his pleasure and to please God and to give him the worship. That's it. It's literally that simple, y'all. But being that, the, those were the, 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 I don't know if you say we're the 30% or the straight and narrow folks. I don't know what you call it, but, um, and you don't have to be one of the 30% or whatever the number is. You don't have to be like me or anybody else that's, um, gotten, uh, woken up sooner or whatever. It's not about, normally it wouldn't, well, it's not about how you, how you start. It's about how you finish, but right now you need to start right now so that you can finish the right way because you may not you have to you have today but you might have tomorrow you may not have 10 minutes from now you may not have an hour from now and um so just think about and the th the reason that I really wanted to make this video primarily is cuz he's dropping names he's calling these these demons out he's calling Lucifer's legion out by name. What's your name, demon? Kim Kardashian. What's your name, demon? Diddy. Diddy and Cassie. Diddy and Biggie. Diggy and Mace. D D Diggy. Biggie. Uh, uh, Diggy and Biggie. D Diddy and uh, Biggie. Pac. Mace. Cassie. Black Rob. Uh, uh, everybody, basically. Pussycat Dolls. Danity Kane. Uh, 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 oh, here's Bad Boy This and Bad Boy That. The band. Go and get me some cheesecake. Uh, uh, Aaron Hall and Diddy, allegedly. All this is stuff, allegedly. Whatever. It's retarded. That's like saying, oh, we saw you, um, we saw you push that old lady down the steps on camera, but you did it allegedly. What you mean I did it allegedly? You seen me do it. Are you stupid? Get out of here, man. But me and Kanye are very similar in a way. And I, I, on, my, on MySpace, I was Malcolm on MySpace God, and I was friends with Tila Tequila. I wasn't like best friends with her, but I was in her top eight before. I talked to her here and there. Um, I never, I wasn't trying to like sleep with her or nothing. I just, but I, I mean, I was attracted to her obviously like everybody else. Cause she was like more or less kind of like, um, the Jenna Jameson of, uh, well, not, let me take that back. I'm sorry. I'm not calling you a, 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 a P star, uh, Tila. I'm sorry. I apologize. I mean, she was kind of like the Angelina Jolie, I guess you would say of, uh, MySpace back then. If you're old enough to know about what MySpace is and you know, but I remember when I first saw Facebook. Um, no, I first saw, I saw, I saw Facebook at some dorm and then I saw MySpace when I was in, um, my computer class and we were all on the computers and somebody was on Facebook, somebody was on MySpace and then, so yeah, I remember it since the day it came out, both of them, but we're not, the, well, the, yeah, right when it came out, like the same year or whatever, like right the first few months. <coughs> but if you remember that, I highly doubt you remember, remember me, but if you did, I had um, a bunch of songs and thousands and thousands of plays and 
I had over like 500,000 friends between all my accounts. And so, yeah, I was like probably the top 50 most popular people, but I was thinking like, oh, music would be the thing. And then Lord steered me a different direction. And I almost got into the porn industry and he steered me a different direction. Almost got into modeling, he steered me a different direction. Almost got into to acting in movies, he got steered me a different direction. Uh, so the list goes on. So the fact that I'm telling you what I'm telling you, um, and you see the predicament Kanye's in, just tells you how dire it, it can be and how much prayer that they, these, these folks really need, regardless of what you think, um, love thy neighbor. If, if Jesus can love the world, then we can love the world too. So why are you persecuting Kanye or Ye or whoever? Now the ones that is point blank where they just straight up said it, and like with Christian Bale, he literally, he got an Oscar and he was like, yeah, I wanna, I mean, I'm not even gonna say this, but he, I, he said, I wanna thank the dude from the, the, uh, the southern border down below for this. He literally said that. Can't mess with you no more, uh, Christian. And yeah, the iron, iron, the ironic, the ironic part is his name is Christian. So, um, but anyway, just something to think about. That, and I'm not. I totally forgot about recent events, but it's really not no different than anything else he's done, because he's already done the Jesus thing and the, all the other stuff before. So that's really not even a surprise, except for the fact that saying that he's the the, the, the Alpha and the Omega, the Father, the Most High, that's, um, that's it is wild. But I don't want y'all to focus so much on that, just the fact that, like, even if he's not saved or whatever, or if God's already made up his, already made up his mind, that only God knows that. I'm not, I'm not saying anything, I'm just being hyper, hyper, hypothetical. But regardless of what, that might 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 entail only God knows that so that's not our place to even think that way anyway it's only God's place so get your mind out of condemning anybody because only God has the power to do that because only God knows the condition of a heart um, so outwardly we see how he's talking and what he's saying and this and that but we don't know the condition of his heart you know and we don't know our we don't know these people's relationships with God in their heart so even Christian and everything I pray for obviously I can't pray for Heath because he's passed away but um, just remember that, y'all. This ain't a time for condemnation or judgment. This is a time for coming together because we're, we're about to be persecuted. We're about to be this and that. And those of us that um, have a, a voice to speak should speak. And those of us that have eyes to see should see. And others, those of us that have ears to hear, let them hear. And, you know, I had the five suicide attempts in one week in 2015. And I, 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 it's quite possible I, I could have wound up in hell. I don't know. But I can tell you for 100% fact, all the glory to God, all the glory to God, to the Most High, to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to my best friend in the whole wide world, Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. I've always called on his name. And even when I thought I was walking in complete darkness, it was so bright in there, I just couldn't see it because I had the wool put over my eyes. So when you close your eyes, what happens? You see darkness. But when you open your eyes, when Jesus opens them eyes, when Jesus opens them eyes, I can see. I can see the devil right in front of me. I can see these demons. I can see this deception. You know what I mean? And those that endure to the end shall surely be saved. So get saved right now, man, because I'm telling you, you think the people that are in hell or, or, or are regretting it, trust me, they are, but you don't even know the words. If, if God could put the feeling on you, how I felt when I woke up, knowing that I completely gave up on myself, I knew in my spirit God didn't give up on me, but I gave up on myself. So in my mind, the devil's like, oh yeah, you're going to hell. It's a wrap. You've come this far to fail, and, and the devil knows that that's one of my biggest fears because everything I've been through. You, you, like, you wouldn't want to be Goku and train to fight like Beerus or something for like 20, 30 years and then get beaten with like the first punch, right? And that's pretty much how I was feeling. Um, if you don't know, Goku's got to go and like all this, he's got to do like the most ridiculous stuff in the world to get 
to where he can beat one guy. It takes him 20 years to beat one guy, but y'all want to keep talking about Goku's the best, Team Vegeta, whatever. I can't stand you people. I asked somebody at the dark the other day, you Team Vegeta, you Team Goku, he's saying, God, can't just, whatever, man. But anyway, that's how I felt. And that's like the worst feeling in the world. And, um, when you when you when you're on earth and you get that close to hell potentially uh, and you, you're literally in the devil's hand being dragged to hell like that movie hype symbolically and that the, the creator of this universe The creator of everything you love, you've ever loved, you've ever appreciated, your mom, your dad, your husband, wife, your cat, your dog, your game, your movie, the, even the stuff we don't need, he gives us. And he's that forgiving. And the fact that the creator of all things that had us in mind before he even made the universe is constantly allowing us to have all these thousands of videos, if not millions of videos, from everybody waking up. There's videos being uploaded right now. I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all don't want to be where I was at because there's a lot of people, and I've seen stuff online when I was in that state of mind and people were doing them things and they weren't coming back. This little girl was about 12 years old and she hung herself in the bathroom. But see, I'm watching it like it's nothing. Cause that's been my whole life too. I've been, I've been doing them same things. Y'all don't understand how horrible this spiritual warfare is because I've been suicidal since three, and that little girl didn't make it past 12. I'm a, let's just say she was 12. I don't know her exact age. But then the fact that she recorded that and somehow uploaded it to her own self, I didn't even think about how disturbing that is. But that could have been me at 12. That's what y'all ain't, see, that's what y'all ain't understanding. That's not, see, so y'all think y'all need to be grateful for a, 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 a so I'm, Lord, forgive me, I'm trying not to cuss. Because when the pain starts coming back, I start cussing like it's happening all over again. But y'all up here worried about a, 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 a mouse or a, a, a teen cup or a, the new keyboard or a tablet or a TV or a PlayStation or a, a, a whatever, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a husband, a wife, a bike, a car, a house, a boat. A vacation, clothes, jewelry, clout, being in the streets, being a thug, being a thought, being on OnlyFans, making all this, making a million dollars overnight. Going to church once, once a month and the other 29 days just wilding out, talking about you love the Lord. Whenever all the, the, the all the Jesus's followers, I think they're called the apostles. They spent their whole lives following the Lord, no matter what. And Daniel went into dot lines then when King Nebuchadnezzar threw one in there, and he still didn't he still didn't stop praying. And the same way that Daniel didn't stop praying in the lines then, and the Lord set him aside is the same way that God set me aside when I was in the throes. The literal throws between the veil of the, the shadow of uh, uh, walking through the valley of the shadow of death. But yet, Daniel 18, 1. See, I didn't even know that scripture applied to me. My entire life, no matter what I said, if I was atheist or if I was this or that, even when I said it, the Lord knew the condition of my heart. He just knew that I was being tormented so terribly that, of course, I was going to say that at some point, just out of hurt and in despair and, and being lost. And see, God was patient with me and God knew it. it was going to take me 35 years to get here to be telling you this right now. Because a year ago, I wasn't ready. Three years ago, I wasn't ready. Two years ago, I wasn't ready. A year and a half ago, I had a woman live in my house that I wasn't married with and this and that. And 
it's like, oh, Karn, you're still doing the same stuff, but you know what? I love you anyway. I'm going to still give you chances because I know the condition of your heart. I know that you just need time because of what you've been through. And I believe that's why it says that God's closest to the brokenhearted because I'm one of the most brokenhearted. And I'm not, I'm not trying to make it no contest. I'm not trying to do nothing than to tell you what my personal walk's been and to tell you what God's done for me. It's not about how bad something's been for me. It's about the things God's delivered me through that um, is to give him the glory. Because it wasn't, it wasn't me that sent that angel to ring that doorbell to wake me up before my organ shut down. God sent that angel. I didn't send an angel. I didn't do nothing. Y'all didn't do nothing. Y'all didn't make no universe. Y'all didn't make no earth. Y'all didn't make no air. Y'all didn't make the, the human body. Y'all didn't make Adam. Y'all didn't make Eve. Y'all didn't make nothing. We ain't did nothing. Nothing. Y'all didn't send Jesus here to die for our sins. The Father did that. And if you think about how terrible I was feeling that I was potentially on my way to hell. And just who I am, I pray for everybody. I love everybody. If you follow me around, I talk to people all the time, people I don't even know. I'd be having conversations. They'd be like, what is this guy talking about? I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking some ADHD wild stuff. I don't told you my mama done died. Uh, my brother was a crip and got murdered, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Somehow, some way, I'm coming back full circle to talk about this right here. Talk about the Lord. Talk about what God's done for me. Because that might be the only time they hear some real stuff like that. And, and they, they might have needed to hear it. They probably did. And even if they didn't, I hope it gave them more strength in Christ. Because that's just who God made me. I ain't no hypocrite. So when I'm, when I'm doing something and I mess up, you'll see me, hear me say, Lord, forgive me. I apologize. I'm trying because I am trying. But my point is, is if you would have been through what I've been through, a lot of people either ain't here to try no more because they couldn't take it or the Lord be with them and keep them or they're just like forget about this this uh this this bible stuff I'm out of here I'm gonna be of the world because this alcohol and this this smoke and this drink and this dozer and these women are so bad a baddie and a thotty and a body and he got a big thing and she got big knockers and she got a bbl and uh this and that and I smashed 10 this week. Well, I smashed 20, so I'm going to go for 30. And it's not even Kobe trying to run the Kentucky Derby. and But you have him sex with your brother like Cersei. And then you mess around and get herpes. And it's like, what are y'all talking about, man? And these things be happening. So you be thinking, oh, he's having an ADHD, bipolar, manic breakdown. So y'all treat me just like Kanye, if that's the case. Because when we start talking real stuff, people don't want to hear. You start, you can't handle the truth. Y'all want to be placated. Y'all want to be up here thinking that everybody's life is on vacay and they got 100000 in the bank and they can't even afford $100 worth of groceries. And they're going on the verge of a divorce. And they so lost in their salvation that they can't even, they think that they're so, fair, they're so afraid, they're, they're so mixed up with what the devil's confusing with because he's the author of confusion that they feel like they can't even talk to God. Even, even Jesus talked to God and prayed to God. And, and Jesus could have up and did anything, done any miracle or done anything to, to make himself not feel pain on the cross or do this or that. But he didn't do that. He lived the exact same life that we did. So when someone says give it to Jesus, you can't sit here and tell God that he don't understand. Because he came down here in the flesh. He, 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 that, that hurt him. 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 People blaspheming the Father hurt him. The whole world hurt Jesus Christ. The whole world persecuted Jesus Christ. And they, he, Jesus says they hated me before they hated you. Nobody else gets the business, gets the treatment like we do. Because innately, we all know we're going one of two places when we die. And if you ain't saved, it's not good. I always say in every video I talk about this, I'm not saying nobody's going nowhere um, unless you are saved. But if you're not saved, that's between you and God. And I, me personally, I'm doing all these things. I made all these changes, not because I want to sound good for a testimony that, oh, I don't fornicate no more. I don't do pornography. I don't do 
uh, uh, masturbation. I'm waiting to get married. And I always say I didn't want to get married, but I talked to God about it. And God said it's time and Lord's will be done. If I get married, that's great. Um, the Lord knows that it's a, like I, like that and my finances are kind of like the last two things I like to do before the Lord comes. But at the same time, it's not about me. It's about helping y'all and helping people get saved. And if, and I told God, if nothing else, I got my cats, I got my babies and that's real. And me personally, I, 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 I can't see the way things is going. I can't see, I can't see Harley Quinn and Joker dying before the Lord comes back. That's just me. I'm not a prophet. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not trying to say anything false. I'm just saying my own opinion, my own intu intu intuition. Um, I've not heard from God ever. I've seen Jesus once a few years back. Um, I fell asleep and then like I went right into like space and he was far away. And he got close enough where I could see him. And he had on like a white robe and like a, a I think a purple or burgundy sash. It's harder, it's one, one of the two. And it was across like this. And he had shoulder length brown hair. And he had like a, um, I don't know. Like if you got like a, a really big like diamond and it's got that like that white prism around it, it's like the lights hit in it, it's glinting like it's fully enveloped in like a, a silvery, like super white, I can't describe the light, but it's, it's just a different kind of light, but it's extremely bright. And it's like a, a white color, but it's it's hard to explain. It's an extremely bright color. It looks like it's white, but it's probably not. And he just looked at me and I looked at him, didn't say anything, and that was it. And I praise God for that, you know, I got to see the Lord. I wish he would have said something to me, but that's okay. I've been praying to um, like see heaven or hear, talk to God or talk to the Lord but maybe I'm not sanctified enough or maybe I'm not like maybe it's just not my maybe I'm not, not maybe I'm just not a person that is qualified to do that maybe I kind of really just feel like I'm especially isolated right now because God wants me to share my story with y'all so I, I'm doing that as much as I can um if I started back in 2018 on on YouTube but the reason I don't have more videos back then is because I was going through all my surgeries and I was in survival mode and I'd been I've been praying and doing all those things and strengthening my relationship with Christ I, I, like I have my whole life I've been Christian since like two and I've always grew up in the church had the Mary had a little land Bible I've never not had the Lord in my life I've just stumbled along the way like everybody else but recently in the last like four or five years the Lord's been making huge changes in my life and I recently got delivered from all those things I mentioned before in the last like um, six months or so and I have ADHD and bipolar one, among other things, and the bipolar one and the ADHD um, produce hypersexuality to a high degree, plus I have an extremely high sex drive, not to be graphic, and then I'm, I love women, and so that's a, you would think if anybody would not, to give up one of those things for like a week would be like, oh, and I gave them all up like that. That's not me, because guess what, I try to do it myself, and I couldn't, and then I came to the Lord with humility and humbleness and seriousness and sincerity and in a meaningful manner. And um, it wasn't like, oh Lord, if you give me the wife of my dreams, I'll stop doing this, it wasn't like that. It was like, hey Lord, I wanna do this for you, not for me. Um, but I know that doing it for you will be helping me to give you the glory. Cause smashing out all these chicks to be it's yeah it feels good you get your little ego you get your pride but that's all it is and like Lauren Hill said the good looking man need to take 40 24 kids you know and then the lady for the lady she said that was a sin that she said showing off like you're thinking it's a trend girlfriend let me break it down for you again don't be a hard rock when you really are a gem how you gonna win if you ain't right? How you gonna win when you ain't right within? How you gonna win if you ain't right within? How you gonna win if you ain't right within? Uh-uh, come again. It's that thing. It's that thing thing, it's that thing, it's the whatever. It's the whoop de whoop the hula hoop. I don't make this video too long, but
thought about it and I was like, what, 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 what would even suffice to help God understand how much just overall for everything that all the, the six brain surgeries and this having the worst pain in the world with the trigeminal neuralgia and and the the torments and the sexual abuse since three and the surgeries and my mom having stage four colon cancer and being as addicted to drugs and alcohol as you can and all the rehabs and the overdoses and the suicide attempts and this and that like in the incest in my family and the the just everything the murders my family's into everything man that's why i can't be around them i gotta pray for them for a distance and then i got a brother that's gay a sister that's bisexual and another brother that's a jehovah's witness so guess what the same way i'm talking to y'all i'm talking to them there ain't no difference there ain't no difference y'all that's what i'm trying to tell you i am who i say i am so unless somebody gives you a reason to not think that they are who they say they are then look at the fruit that they bear. So if you look at my other testimony, what am I doing? Glory to God. Other one. Glory to God. Other one. Glory to God. 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 How many times does somebody got to keep telling you something before you believe them? The devil wants you to think that anything good that somebody's trying to do for the Lord is got some type of conniving, undermined type of thing. Now, am I going to take anything that, like, Lady Gaga or Jay-Z or Beyonce or uh, whoever has to say certain certain people that principalities and powers in dark places and who's the people doing the most wicked stuff the people at the highest places the same the same the same way that I got this on and I, I'm for the Lord see, I'm, oh Lord forgive me I almost never mind Ice Spice in the Super Bowl, she had one that was the other way, the wrong way. And that's where she's going, to keep she's going, the, the rate she's going. But see, I pray for her too. I love her just the same. Guess what? I ain't got no hate in my heart for none, none of them. You know why? Because Jesus ain't got it, no hate in his heart for none of them. Jesus would go long periods at night and pray all night. For who? For everybody. And the way I am, I don't know if like the Lord rubbed off on me or somebody at church or a scripture. I don't know what it was. But for the longest, most of my life, I've said, God is good, God is great, God bless us all, keep us safe. Because God is good, he's literally good. All good things come from God. He's great. He's the great almighty. He's the great creator, the great architect, the great everything, the great I am. I think it's in scripture. Uh, he's the alpha and the omega, which I guess might be a synonym for, for great. Um, and when he blesses us all he keeps us safe so if you have something in a safe nothing can get to it right if you put, if I put this in a safe and I lock it up and it's an unbreakable safe that's our salvation in there God is safe the devil is not a wife is safe, a prostitute is not. A shooting range is safe. Being a blood and a crip on a block around your, your enemies is not. Being a cop is safe, being a robber is not. Being a A giver or a helper is safe. Being a thief is not. Telling the truth is safe. A lie is not. Following Christ in the spirit is safe. Following your fleshly desires and the things of this world for your own selfishness, selfishness is, is not. It's not safe. I don't know if I said that. I think y'all get the point. Putting your hand, and this is the last thing I'm going to say, this is the Lord talking, y'all. Because I'm, I'm notoriously bad at analogies and the Lord's dropping this knowledge on me. Please share this video, y'all. Throw a follow. Please share this video. Throw a like, like for real. Because it's really hard for me to get like this animated and stuff and because of my pain and everything, but I'm pushing through for the Lord. 
And I ain't just saying that. If you don't know, this is my my one bottle of my gabapentin, and this is my hydrocodone. You see how many I take, and that's not even on my medicine. And this is my scar back here, if you can see it. I had the I had the the streaming light right there, but Joker chewed the cord because, of course, he did. He went up behind the thing, and it was blocked off, and he went around like that and chewed it. I had ten charger cords for my my Apple stuff, and now I got two. I got four dollars in my bank account, so I literally don't have any more money to buy cords. And he just keeps finding a way to chew them up. Lord bless him, my child. Um, well, I'm gonna show y'all Harley Quinn real quick and end this on a little a little lighter note, but you know, putting your hand above the oven, the burner, to see if it's warm enough. I'm not saying it's smart. I'm just saying that is good. Putting your hand directly on a burner to see if it's hot is not good. So up here is where we want to be, out of the flame, out of the burning, with the Lord in heaven. Down here and on the burner, we already know that, man. So y'all leave me a comment if, if, if you don't, if, if you're going to reject the Lord any further, if you got some wild stuff to say, if you got anything of the world to say, I don't care who you are, what you're doing, anything. I don't care if you just did the worst thing imaginable right now. No judgment. I still love you. I'm not condoning nothing bad. I'm not condoning hurting no kids, no animals, no people, nothing illegal. I'm not condoning none of that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I still pray for you and I still love you the same way that Jesus loved you. And me being a true follower of Christ, if I say anything other than I truly love you and I want you to be with me up there with the Lord. And I pray for you the same that I pray for my own family or for my cats. And y'all know how much I love my cats. And yes, I do pray for my cats. Don't think I don't. Then I'm not a true follower of Christ because I'd be a hypocrite. It's 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 one or the other. Either you're gonna love thy neighbor and follow if you love the Lord says if you love my if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And part of that is to love thy neighbor. Y'all ain't getting that. The whole world's so divided that y'all want to not love your neighbor of the stupidest stuff. Is that worth going to hell over? Because you have the unforgiveness? Because you're you're being deceived by the author of confusion? That being this or that, Pepsi or Coke, Spurs or Lakers, cats or dogs, blondes or brunettes, is worth you standing before the Lord Almighty, Jesus Christ himself, sovereign of all, the Lord of Lord of the King of Kings, the one that died for our sins so that we wouldn't have to go to hell. Think about how much of a soap and the salt that is. Would you spit in God's face and say, oh, I don't, I don't, it doesn't, it's no big deal that you sent your son here. I was just doing my thing down here and I was smooth. I was cool. I didn't need all that, that, um, that Jesus stuff. That's what you're doing. Every time that somebody's trying to minister to you to help you get saved, you're literally spitting in God's face. So are you, are you really going to tell me you stand, if the, if the Lord appeared before you right now, would you spit in his face? If you were standing before God in his throne room on the day of judgment, would you spit in his face? I know I wouldn't. And although I may not be doing any sin stuff right now, have any issues, there are things that you can do unknowingly, so I do pray for that. The forgiveness of all, you know, unknown and known, past, present, and future. But that doesn't mean that I'm not striving to not do it at all every day because I am striving to do, it, to do it not every day to not do it every day and the, and I have a I bring it up I'm going to frame it actually I have a whiteboard I'm going to write them all on there the Ten Commandments and the Seven Daily Sins and anything that um, I did that day I'll just put a, a check or I'll put an X if I didn't do it and I'll put a check if I did it so that way I have, I have a like an ongoing thing so I know what to work on but you're talking about 35 years of life, so yeah, trust me, if, if, I ha if I've lived 35 years on life and I haven't got to a point where I'm making progress, then I don't know how long it would take. Because God gives us thousands and thousands of years. If you live 100 years old, you, I don't know how, that's like, what, 15,000 days or something? Because 15,000 days is 15,000 days of opportunity, and that's not even counting the opportunities within the day, which is innumerable. 
but because God communicates with us all in a way we can understand. So you can't say that when you have it on your heart and intuition and conviction to do something, to talk to the Lord or to pray or whatever, that you, oh no, it's just coincidence. Like y'all are tripping, man. Y'all think, so y'all want to sit here and tell me that every single thing in the world that's ever happened, every single thing that in your life that's happened is a coincidence? If that's what you think, that's what you think. But you're delusional. You're, you're, you're asleep. It's the blind leading the blind. I don't know what church you're going to, what type of friends you're hanging out with, what type of lukewarm Christians you're around. But um, God don't make mistakes and there ain't no coincidences. Because if it were a coincidence that I took, I had five suicide attempts in one week. And I wasn't even in any condition to have a, a the, fir the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, five times in one week. And I took 600 Benadryl, 24 sleeping tablets, 12 to 24 Angry Orchard Ciders, about that much fireball. And I was out of it from like 8 a.m. 8 p.m. to like 10 a.m. Y'all think that's a coincidence that I'm talking to you right now? That God hasn't showed me mercy and grace and favor for whatever reason? Maybe the only reason is because he wanted me to tell y'all this right now. And you get saved. One person gets saved. If this helps, if this helps save you, and you ex you can accept the Lord right now. Uh, the baptism is a different thing. I'm not smart enough to tell you about that right now. But you can accept the Lord as your Lord and Savior anywhere. Anywhere. Because there's plenty of people that have been um, non-Christians that have been given second opportunities to come back and to te witness to people. And they've called on the Lord's name. Call on the Lord's name and you shall be saved. They were literally being dragged to hell. And one guy, he was a Muslim dude. He only had seconds. He was praying to Allah, praying to Allah, and it, it, nothing was happening. And then an angel came down and was like, hey, you need to, you know, the Lord loves you. He wants to, he doesn't want you to perish. You, you don't, you have seconds to, to call on his name. Accept him as your Lord and Savior right now. And you, and um, he'll forgive you. And that's on uh, Touching the, after, I think Touching the Afterlife or Randy K. One of the two. Touching the Afterlife, all one word. And then Randy K is R-A-N-D-Y-K-A. E, I think and that's coming from a Muslim y'all and I, I'm related to Muhammad Ali through marriage I've showed y'all pictures of all that and he's Muslim and that bothers me I just hope that the Lord was merciful on him but it is what it is I know a lot of y'all love Muhammad and all that but I, I can't sit here and We're Christians, we're Christians. Christ is in us, Christ is also in our name. It's just that simple. And this is the living, breathing, inspired word of God. Meaning that one day God just decided, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a universe. And I'm gonna make nature, I'm gonna make people. I'm gonna do this, I'm, this is all out of God's will. That's why it's God's will be done, because if it wasn't God's will for me to be here, I wouldn't be here. That's a fact. That's true mercy and grace. When when you're when you're when you're two steps from hell to and 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 you don't even deserve it and God gives you another chance and you ain't telling nobody what God's done for you even then I, even still you you're here and God showed you mercy and grace but that ain't something I want to not that's not something I want to stand before the Lord and be like oh yeah um you just saved me so I'm glad about my own salvation but forget everybody else I wouldn't want to be you so if you got a testimony to share, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. You know, it's all right. Life sucks, life is hard. But the meek shall inherit the earth. And God is closest to the brokenhearted. And the ones, the the, 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 the ironic thing is, is y'all think the richest people is is the, the Bezoses and the billionaires and all them. They're the poorest people because the most, a lot of them, the, the most richest ones usually um, are the most Poorest in spirit, and the, and the opposite end, the ones that are less fortunate, and the ones that are honest people that really love the Lord. We know where our our treasures lie, where our rewards lie, and we know that siding with Lucifer and offending God in the name of worldly things is what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? That's why, yeah, I keep saying I got four dollars in my bank account. But it don't matter because I'm rich in the Lord and the Lord's been making a way for me regardless. The Lord's been showing up for me. And how do I know that? 
because he showed up for me the second I was born, six months premature. I mean, three months premature. Almost died. I had a heart murmur. Could have killed me. Breathe a monitor and a heart. heart uh, breathe a monitor and a heart machine for another six months. And going up and up and up. I've always had extremely challenging health issues, life and death issues. Near, I've had like 15 plus near death experiences, which I'm doing a playlist on that. You can look at that. But time. How, how do I know God's real? Because God's shown me He's real. Because I pray to God. I've been close to God. I've stumbled along the way. I've been honest to God the whole way about my stumbles. And even when I knew I was smashing all these chicks when I was younger and going wild and doing this, that, and the third, and I knew I was wrong, I did it anyway because I'm an idiot and I'm a man and we're just dumb dumbs anyways like that because we be thinking with something else, not with, not with this head, and we get lost in the sauce. Women do too, but the guys are the, the – like as a guy, are, are, are we going to show up to a, to a club if there ain't no females, guys? Heck, you know, definitely not. We're the problem. Ladies, y'all ain't the problem. Men are the problem. You know, we start conflicts over over you. Y'all don't usually, we cause fatal conflicts over, over women. Women don't typically, like men commit the most murders. Men commit the most violence. It's just a fact. So if you're having a problem with your wrath and your pride or women, you know, not wanting to be with you and you lose your mind, give it to the Lord. Work on it. Do better, like I did. It took me my, my my whole life to get where I'm at, to where I don't clock out on people, and having my mom brutalized by my dad since a very young age, and all these other things, and violence on me, and not having to want not want to be a victim. It is hard to turn the other cheek, but every time I want to uh, get my 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 light skin uh, uh, ninja ninja dome on, my bipopo on my PTSD flashback on, my hypervigilance on, I think about, you know, what the whole world did to the Lord and still does. Because y'all forget. And he's still turning the other cheek, but y'all forget. You know, God promised he would never cause another flood on the world. That's how bad that, that one place got, the Tower of Babel or whatever when Noah built the ark. If God wanted to, to like, just straight up not give nobody no more chances like this, no more no me to witness to people or other people to witness to people. If, if God wasn't uh, that merciful and that slow to anger and, and uh, impatient with all of us, because he don't want none of us to perish. And he, him, you know, it grieves the Trinity, the Holy Trinity that when anybody perishes, my people, my people perish for a lack of knowledge and your lack of knowledge is not acknowledging the knowledge that people that like myself and others that shouldn't even be here that God has allowed for whatever reason to be here when others are not. We all have people that we want to want here but are not. And there's people that are not here that are not in not with the Lord. And what's the worst what the, the worst thing would be to say there's people that have been that have met the Lord and been to heaven, and one of the first things they ask is, "Where's so and so?" And the Lord will give them that look, like they're not here. Or He'll just give them a look. So why would you want that to be your kid or your brother, or your sister, or your mom, or you or anybody? What 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 reason in the world would you have on this earth because of some ignorance that somebody that is not God that didn't create anything at all? That is just a mere human. No matter how much money they have or how good they look or how many girls or guys they have or cars or this or that. Anything of the world don't matter. They don't make you God. You'll never be God. Y'all got to understand that. So whatever you're, whatever you're listening to about what somebody that's saying that's not bringing you to the Lord is taking you away from the Lord. Be not deceived. And then part of the reason, the main reason why I stopped drinking alcohol um, is because in the last days it says to be of a sober mind because the enemy is uh, like looking to uh, seduce you of the spirit or something like that. I've never been a big drinker anyway, but just something to think about, y'all. I hope this helps somebody. But every video I make, I, I'm fully expecting that everybody that sees this, whether you comment or not, that. Even I, I don't know your name. I, we, all know, we all know each other in heaven because we're the body of Christ, so we don't have to have, you know, we'll know who we are, you know. 
that I hope everybody watches that watches this um, is saved or increases your strength in the Lord. And um, I keep trying to get a hold of my, my two brothers and my sister, but I can't reach them. So I'm, I'm just in intense prayer over them all the time. So if you could pray for them. Um, my sister's name is Jade. My brother's name is Joseph. And my brother's other brother's name is Miles. If you could pray for them, that they may they may seek the Lord while he still may still be sought. And I would uh, encourage you to do the same. Um, it's an hour video. Why my videos don't ever be short? But the Lord's dropping knowledge on me. I got to do it. Hi, Eno. Let's get this on a, a good note. Yeah, see, my nerve is starting to hurt now. All right, that's going to be my video for, might be for the rest of the day. I don't know. I'll try to do another one if I can later. Hi, Eno. You know, baby. What's up, my man? Come here. Don't you run from daddy. Come here, baby. Oh, I got an Eno. I got an Eno. Got an Eno, baby. Miss Chris Hemo, baby. How many kiss daddy? Let's see. One kiss daddy? Come here, Eno. Give me a kiss. Kiss daddy. Give me a kiss. One kiss. Come on. One kiss. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there, you know. Come on. One kiss daddy. Come here. Give me a kiss. Joker. Give me a kiss, you know. Come on. One kiss daddy. Just one. Just all I need is one kiss. There we go, you know. There we go. Good job, baby. And we got Harley. I just put the beanbag right there. Daddy ain't bust out the beanbag in a minute. Ooh, big yawn. Baby girl, you leave her alone, my boy. I just pet you, Joker. Leave her alone. I can pet a baby girl. She's a baby girl. Yeah, that's baby girl. All right, y'all. Uh, God is good. God is great. God bless all of you and keep you safe. Amen.